When you see an overweight parent, oftentimes you see overweight kids. Why is this? Some of it's genetic, of course. Some of it's probably learned in certain families. And, of course, it can be environmental. So the epigenetics has a factor to do with it, too. Well, it's interesting that a study was done out of the University of Adelaide that was published in the prestigious journal called FASEB uh, in July of 2013 that showed that if a, if a father was obese at the time of conception, that this, his sperm DNA actually was changed and would put his children at risk for obesity and for type 2 diabetes uh, for two generations to come, regardless of what the diet was of the, of the kids that followed for the next two generations. That's amazing news in terms of looking at how powerful uh, our environmental uh, actions are and how lifestyle affects our DNA's expression that can be passed on for generations to come. The father's uh, uh, DNA actually affects these children, whether they have good diets or they have bad diets. And it's interesting that even if the father has no sign of type 2 diabetes, uh, that still uh, the kids are at risk for it for the next two generations. We all know that the mother's health during pregnancy has a lot to do with how the baby does uh, later in life. Uh, things like birth weight and uh, 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 other problems that are related to uh, hypertension and what you weigh and metabolic syndrome and sometimes uh, syndromes that occur like with alcohol or drugs of different types. Uh, we know that that has a profound effect on how the babies will do. Uh, so it's interesting that if the mother is on drugs or is taking uh, street drugs or is taking uh, prescription drugs such as antidepressants or is, on, uh, is smoking or consuming a lot of alcohol or eating a very bad diet uh, or is very stressed or depressed, that it's going to affect the baby's health immensely. So the work that Bruce Lipton did in epigenetics that has become more popular now is something that is, is really impressing us with a study like this. And it's important to keep in mind that this study was done on rats, wasn't done on people, because we haven't had two generations to check. Uh, we haven't known about it that long. But it's a warning sign that if it happens in rats, it sure as heck could happen to other species, including humans. So lifestyle is really something that's very important in helping us to maintain our own health, but also that of the offspring for at least a couple of generations. So we should be taking more notice of, of what our health is like at the time of conception. If you're a male, and of course, if you're a female, then there are a whole lot of things that need to be taken into account, and that's why we need to have good advice for our women uh, that have to do with the lifestyle that they have during the time of their pregnancies.